Hi everyone, thanks for joining me back. Nina here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a very beautiful peek through window card. To start with the window, I am using the double stitch round rectangles from Art Impressions to create this window. Don't forget when you're cutting the front window, keep your card open so you don't cut through both the layers. Then I'm going to use this cute stencils to create bricks. I'm not going to press hard, it's just very light, just to give a hint of the bricks. And this is how it looks. Some areas are very pale and the others are lightly dab. And then I'm going to use the Latte Love stamp set, also from Art Impressions. And I'm going to um, stamp it with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, which is Copic friendly. And then I'm going to use my Copic markers to color these cute girls. Uh, you can check on my Instagram account. I'm going to link it down below where I, where I usually leave uh, the coloring process. And you can also follow my blog. I'll also leave it down below uh, if you want to check the shades that I used for the markers. Uh, I'm just leaving these uh, couple areas where I colored. I'm just showing you how, uh, how very small these, these areas are. So you really need to be very careful so you do not make any mistakes and go out the line. Still, if you go out the line, you can also use your, uh, you can always use your white gel pen and um, color over it and no one will ever know. So th this is how it looks. I then, I then used my scissors and I cut all around the grills. I also stamped it over here. It was easy for me so I could know where exactly the window should be. I, when I create a window card, I always like to frame it. So to frame it, I did cut again the double stitched piece of uh, scrap. And then I did used, I used a corner punch so I can create the same corners that are on the cut on my window. And to create the scenes on, on the scene on the inside, I used this uh, marshmallow from the cups die set from Lawn Fawn and these uh, two um, leaves from different sets, one from honeybee stamps and the other from spellbinders. The amazing things about this marshmallow, I could not find any other pot that matches what I want that is that small. All of the pots dies that I had were so big, so this marshmallow was just perfect. The die cuts a slit so you can easily put your uh, leaves inside. Here I also used my Cricut machine to cut the, this umbrella, umbrella for the outside of the cafe. I colored parts of the, uh, of the umbrella yeah, using the same Copic markers that I used for one of the pants of the girls. So they would match together from the outside. When you close the window, I always like to leave something that is matching from the inside and the outside. Here then I did cut, um, I think this is called a pencil eraser. Um, cardstock from Lawn Fawn. You're gonna find it linked down below with all the materials and tools that I'm going to be using today. And then for the background for the wall, I used this pattern paper that looked so cute and really brought the colors together from the girls. Then I'm going to directly stick with glue uh, my pots beside the girls just to complete the scenes. I did color the leaves on the pots using the same shades from the scarves on the on one of the girls, the same green that I used for the girl's image. Then from the same stamp set as the girls, I used the sentiment strong coffee sweet friendships, but I cut them in half. I stamped one and I put it outside. That is strong coffee. I did cut a banner and a bigger banner inside. And when you open it, it says sweet friendship. So strong coffee, sweet friendship. I had so much fun creating this card today, guys. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.